Hi, I'm Austin Zimmerman, product specialist here at Houston Metal Sawing, Houston's premier metal sawing and processing facility. Here at Houston Metal Sawing, no matter whether it's a onesie twosie straight cut or something meticulous like this gray iron, we're willing to sit down and be your competitive advantage. Gray iron is a cast material, so it is a little abrasive. It's going to be like cutting 4130 or 4140 chromoly as far as the time to cut and the surface inches to be cut a minute. This job is multiple line items with a thousand plus pieces per line item and it being a square part you've got four trim cuts to make so this is well over north of 8,000 cuts on the whole total job. To get started cutting your gray iron as we do with every project here in our high production facility we're going to be using sawbladedata.com. Sawbladedata.com is a great engine to use no matter whether you're in a small home fab shop or in a high production facility. It's going to give you a good baseline in just about every known material out there. Cutting gray iron is a lot like cutting a low to medium carbon steel. So you're going to see those cutting rates of about five to seven and a half square inches a minute to be cut. On blade speed, you're going to be shooting for about 190 to 196 feet per minute. Of course, with that high production superior bimetal blade. And then you can see this production time here being about a minute and a half to a minute a cut. This is a high production job and we're trying to get it out the door as efficiently as possible in a timely manner. So we're probably gonna to try to hit those high production rates of about a minute and 12 seconds a piece. And then as you can see here, I am gain cutting two at a time. And so you can pretty much, we'll just double those cut rates. So we are gonna look at a total cut time of about three minutes. And as always, you get that final tooth recommendation being a four six or a three four for a single three by three bar. But like I said, we are gain cutting two by on a bundle. And so we're gonna probably bump that tooth pitch up one notch. And so we'll go from like a three, four to a two, three. It is a harder, more abrasive material. It's like cutting a higher carbon steel or even a stainless. And so 95% of the time, we're gonna go straight to a Q701 high production bimetal blade or even a Q1002 if we've already got it equipped on the machine. When we do that to that way, that blade has a higher life expectancy with a way harder tooth to keep up endurance and resilience in such an abrasive material as cast iron. We're gonna set up our Velox 330 full CNC inch and a quarter machine. We're gonna set the feet per minute to about 190. And then this machine does have a dial for the cutting pressure and a dial for the cutting rate. We're gonna set the cutting pressure as if we were cutting a high to medium carbon steel right around a four and a half to a five uh, for cutting two bars. And when cutting two casts, three by three bars, you really want a lot of good penetration. So we may even have to bump that cutting pressure up from a five to a six. We'll just have to monitor the cut throughout the cutting process. Um, and then for the cutting rate, we're gonna probably set it medium to low around a four and a half to a five, about mid range. As always, we're gonna take it one step further and we're gonna assess the chips. Cutting cast iron is a lot like cutting a low carbon to medium carbon steel. So we're going to be watching that straw brown to medium brown chip. We really don't want any high blue color in it. Uh, what that tells us is we've cut way too fast on the feed rate and the cutting speed on the blade. So we'll probably want to turn that back down. And as always, you don't want a stringy chip because that's probably not enough feed rate. And if you have a real tight curly cue, you probably got too much pressure and too much feed rate. So you want to slow that down as well. When cutting an abrasive cast material, you're going to generate a lot of heat, just like you do in a stainless material. So we're going to be using Sawblade.com's C5200 semi-synthetic sawing fluid. The C5200 is a great sawing fluid that we use in every machine here in the shop. It's got a good detergent package and good lubricators. It's going to keep this part and the blade cool and clean throughout the entire cut process. Um, another thing that helps us keep the blade clean is the use of a chip brush. Um, it's going to keep those chips ejected out of the gullet as that blade travels through the part and back around and help ultimately to deplete blade deflection and to keep those teeth on the blade and reduce tooth stripping. That way we don't trash this customer's part or blades. Finally, on all our machines here in the shop, we use Sawblade.com's industrial carbide guides. Um, we keep them on the shelf and you can always get them. They have them in stock at sawblade.com uh, where they're competitively priced and you get same day shipping. And the use of these guides really keep us accurate time and time again through extreme lengthy process such as this where we're making over 8,000 cuts for the total job order. Houston Metal Sawing has been in the industry for over 50 years and we're willing to sit down with every customer and tailor fit your exact cutting job to your needs. No matter whether it's some 1018 and some onesie twosie stuff and ink and nail, high exotic titanium or something tedious like some gray iron, loafing off little cubes with over 8,000 cuts in the total job, 
Reach out to Houston Metal Sawing for a quote or give us a call.